So Halo is chasing a broader audience. We've seen this play out before, and alarm bells should be ringing. I got a bad feeling about this. In the last couple of days, we've seen coverage of a report in the Washington Post where Bonnie Ross discussed the desire at 343 Microsoft to push Halo to a broader audience. It's clear from the article that the decision to go free-to-play or live service and the development of the TV show are attempts to broaden the appeal of Halo. The soft reboot nature of the campaign story and the failure to include fan favorite modes like co-op and forge can now be put into context. Tell me more. What's become clear is that Halo Infinite was shipped in an incomplete state because the features were not required to ship the game. Adding these features didn't aid the goal of attracting a broader audience and were seen as expendable in an effort to chase that audience. Good job. My appeal to 343 is don't forget your base. Don't leave behind the very fans who got you where you are today chasing a broader audience with no affinity or loyalty to your franchise. Don't shit on the legacy that Bungie left behind. Take your core audience with you. Don't compromise the core gameplay in a desperate attempt to engage new players. They'll come on their own if you publish a quality product. Learn the lessons from other franchises on how to handle audience expectations. Don't ever try to subvert them in place of genuine creativity and experimentation. Never mess with the dance in an effort to engage new players. You'll fail and only succeed in ruining what makes Halo Halo and alienating the fans you have left. Respect the history and the time your core audience has invested. Respect the amount of money that they've invested over the years. Respect the fact that they are your biggest cheerleaders and will build hype and momentum for you. They will create the clips, the memes, the commentary and yes, the criticism necessary to carry the franchise forward. Talk to the fans. Engage with the fans. Be honest with your fans. We aren't fooled by lengthy blog posts which say not much of anything and provide no insight to the vision for the game and no sight of a clear way forward. Talk of 10 year plans and platforms for the future is cheap when the present is in such a precarious state. Franchises without their diehard fans are nothing. They're a faded sticker on a lunchbox, a torn poster on a bedroom wall, a forgotten toy, a game no one plays, a caricature of their former glory with all the trappings of success and none of the true value of their former selves. It's true that franchises need to grow, to change, to evolve or they die out. But change without creativity or originality leads to stagnation and eventually death. In the case of Halo, this will be a slow, drawn-out death as players hang on to former glories in the hopes that someone will save them and the stories they love. I said in a previous video, what will Microsoft do when the Halo community's biggest cheerleaders move on and, and cover other games because of frustrations never addressed over years of feedback from multiple botched releases? I hope we never find out. In the past few weeks, we've seen a sizable chunk of the content creator community move on to other games because they cannot see a way forward covering this franchise alone. This is a symptom of the problem rather than the cause, but cause and effect are ever present. Cause and effect. Halo could enter a death spiral where a lack of in-game content drives creators away. A lack of content online further suppresses interest and so on and so forth until the effort required to get the fans back on side becomes exponentially harder. Your core audience deserts you as the casual players move on to something else, if they were ever there at all. 343, the community wants you to succeed and will be ready to pick up the baton when the time comes. Build on your core fans and the features they love and this game and your franchise will be in good health for years to come. I'll leave you with this clip which explains better than I ever could how the Halo community will react if given the game and the tools they've been asking for. Possibly can't. So you got the Griffball boys and they're like, all right guys, we're, we're holding up this side. And then you got the Firefight gang who's holding up that side. Then the custom game Chads and Forge crew swagger in and they push the statue higher into the air. The co-op campaign homies arrive and now they're they're helping out. The modders come in, they push a button and a giant metal arm stoops underneath and pushes the statue even higher than what was previously imagined. Then the montagers and machinima crowd show up and they provide stability support. Don't worry guys, we got your backs. Then the competitive ranked players come in, the pro players, and suddenly the statue is raised so fucking high off the ground that people looking at other statues can't help but turn their heads and say, what's that? What's that? It's fucking Halo.